Hi, welcome to another Build It Break Garage episode. Today's episode, we break down the build of Project Midori. A lot of you are probably coming over from David Patterson's review on his That Dude in Blue channel. And if so, please give us a subscribe and a nice like. like. Thank you uh, for showing interest in the car. I'll be producing more video on Saturns. Uh, I own a couple of them. I'm going to be documenting the build of my turbo car in the next, next segment of videos. So if you like what you see and you want to know more about Saturns, uh, definitely go ahead and uh, this is the right channel for you to be on. This episode I'm calling a Build It Breakdown. I'm going to tell you all about my 1998 Saturn SL2, aka Midori. Well, obviously, the first uh, thing to start off with is the car is painted Midori green from a 96 on the Civic hatchback. It is Midori green pearl, thus how she got her name. If you look right here, that's actually all the colors the car has ever been. The car has been, it started off its life as a dark blue, uh, the stock Saturn normal color. Uh, then I painted it grabber orange, at least this side of the car. I didn't ever paint the passenger side. It was way too hot, couldn't drive around like that. So I ended up painting it flat black, just to cover up everything and kind of go for a stealthy look. The car sat like that for quite a few years until finally I had a buddy that could paint. He said that he was willing to paint my car for me. So I was, we were originally going to paint it gloss black, but then I realized the car was black for the past couple of years already and uh, I wanted to do something different. So my buddy Melvin had a 96 Honda Civic hatchback in Midori Green and I just fell in love with the color. I actually, green's not even my favorite color, the reason why I actually picked this color was because it goes so well with purple, and that's my main accents is all the purple stuff. That's the reason why the car is actually Midori Green. It's got the windows tinted this year. The car is actually all on airbags, it's on Subaru WRX bags, uh, they're from Raceland. The car is also running on a airlift 3P management with all 3.8 airlines, so it's all pretty responsive, it goes up and down really well. The car has a one of one dry carbon fiber wing on it from Wings West. As far as my knowledge goes, that wing is only one of its kind. Now, Wings West did make a production version of this wing in wet carbon fiber, which is the more glossy kind. But this is the only one of, of its kind that I know of that is in dry carbon. That's the reason why it's on the car. I like it. I'm a wing guy. And I didn't, I, I actually, for years, I actually did not put a wing on this car because I didn't want to be that guy, but this one came upon, or I came across this deal, I couldn't pass it up. I was originally, I actually had kept it off the car for about six, seven months before, I, or after I got it, and then I just realized, you know what, I'm building the car for me, I like it, I'm sticking it on there. It's a legit carbon fiber piece, so I mean, the thing probably costs more than the car, to be honest with you, so that's why it's on there. I like it, and it, it's just sick. On the rear, since we're talking about the rear, uh, the bottom piece is actually from an 8th gen Civic. It's a Voltex style rear diffuser. I just got done doing that. It pretty much almost was a bolt-on affair. I did have to trim some of the bumper off on the sides and trim it, trim it down about an inch in the middle to shrink it down width-wise. But other than that, we got it up uh, and installed. It's actually bolted to the car, not to the bumper itself. So if it does do anything, it's working. I don't think it is, but it does go all the way up to the rear axle and smooths out the whole back end of the car, so it is a real diffuser. This was the first Saturn ever wire tucked. The whole engine bay, I got rid of all the fuse boxes and batteries in the trunk, got rid of the power steering and the air conditioning. When I went to power steering, and put a manual rack in it. Radiator reservoir is tucked underneath the MSD coils. The MSD coils on this car are mainly just for looks. Uh, stock actually outperform, st the stock coils would actually outperform these MSD coils but I like them because they look good, so that's the only reason why they're in this car. Uh, also, along with the MSD wires as well. The valve cover is currently a custom candy-coated paint, uh, or candy coat high flake metallic purple. Uh, again, sticking with the purple theme. The uh, front of the car is running a Mustang Mach 1 chin spoiler. This was the first Saturn that ever, was run, or that ever ran one of those uh, as well, so it's another first on this car. I also have the Canards, uh, those are just some cheap eBay things. The mirror, actually here, this is off a, a, a SC2 mirror, which is the two-door Saturn mirror. This is why it's painted. I've left it silver because I think it looks cool. It kind of throws because the whole theme of the car has been basically to have it 
more like a, uh, I want it to look like a street legal race car kind of deal. Um, eventually I would like to paint the whole interior gloss white to give it that car and white appearance and put some nice seats in it with a nice, uh, nice harness bar. I think that's uh, in the future for this car. The wheels that it's sitting on are XXR962. They are 17 by nine with a 35 offset, running a 205-40 tire. If I could get away with not having a stretch, I would, but I can't get fitment like this without running the stretch. The car is on factory alignment. Uh, there's no camber that is that doesn't need to be there. Not some crazy, you know, it's not some super crazy stanced out thing or anything. So the roof does come off. The way it's actually fastened to the car is I have 15 neodymium magnets around the sides of the back. And actually, it pulls it down about 150 pounds of force, so it doesn't come up. It also keeps it rattling around while you're driving the car. I do have hood pins that are up front for a mechanical bond, and those just pop right up in there. So that way, even if it does decide to fly up on the, on the back or the sides, it's not going to leave the vehicle. On the interior of the car it is running a Grip Royal steering wheel, a uh, purple high flake metallic, which it is removable. Uh, I'm running an NRG quick release. I have no slop in it, and the thing has been flawless. So I don't want to hear it. The gauges that are in the vehicle uh, are actually custom done. Uh, every, every gauge that I have that's important is done in white which is my mile per hour, my RPM gauge, and my wide band are all in white, and then all my secondary gauges, like my temp and my fuel, are in black. The car also has a completely one-off custom, uh, I completely wire, or custom wired this myself. Uh, I have a full Bluetooth controlled LED underglow on this vehicle, and uh, it did come out pretty good. There's a couple hundred different LEDs that are underneath the vehicle, so I mean, it, it really looks like it's glowing in person. It photographs really well too, so I mean, you'll be able to see it here. Now I do one of my favorite things, drive it. So sorry about the shaky footage. I wanted to take you guys along with me on how it is to drive this car. This thing fits me like a glove. This seat is like dead on perfect. The steering wheel location is in the perfect spot for me. I love driving this car. Like the road is never long enough when I get to drive this car. So the backstory on the car, uh, I got the, I've, I've had this car since 2005. So this is, I'm going coming on my 14th year of ownership of this vehicle. Uh, I bought it with 25,000 miles off a little old lady. It was supposed to remain stock and be my daily driver, but clearly that didn't happen. I'm sure that there are probably things that I'm leaving off, but I don't want to make this video three hours long. Uh, thank you guys for coming over to support the channel. She means a lot to me. This car is my baby. I will never sell her and uh she's forever home here i know a lot of you guys are here because of the debt dude and blued video and if you are welcome thank you for uh, coming over and uh learn a little bit more about the car uh, the car means a lot to me so it's nice to see other people also enjoying it as well so i think that's it uh, i'm gonna leave it off there and uh, if there's any other questions about the car or anything go on ahead and uh, leave me a comment and uh, i'll be forward to look or I'll be for look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.